what an aspiring woodworker could not resist making joints. And I mean not any joints, but the wood ones. So if you are aspiring and you want your joints to be perfect and you don't want to be lost somewhere on the way, stay with me, as today I'm going to clear the chisel choice, at least a bit. Chisels are quite simple, hard material cutting or carving tools that you can use when you want to introduce some minor modifications to stone, metal or wood. Well, forcing the blade into hard material requires a driving force on the other side of a chisel. And guess who would that be? You. And as I value you as viewers, I want you to get proud of your work results. So, let me introduce you to some main points. The division of chisels goes down to construction works you want to perform. The best in chisels is that you can start with the large ones and do a serious kind of stuff and then you can scale down to the small ones. So the build of chisels is very similar. Well, there is a blade on one side and the handle on the other. And this is very good practice to be able to recognize them correctly. There are three basic types of woodworking chisels, bench, mortise and paring chisels. Bench chisels are multi-purpose tools most common to perform basic chopping and paring works on your piece of wood. They are most common in your woodworking practice as you can perform a lot of tasks with them and they are always located somewhere near at your disposal within the hand ridge. So that is why we call them bench chisels. Here I have two. Well, this one is brand new and this one is, let's call it, antique. Well, the edges in bevel chisels can be beveled on sides to give you maximum access to dovetails or flats. Mortise chisels are more for heavy duty works of chopping or chiseling way the waste wood. They can withstand the hardest hit with a mallet, so they need to be tough. You can use them to cut directly across the grain or lever out waste material. The name itself suggests that they are used to cut deep, narrow mortises. These chisels are very difficult to bend or break as their body is much thicker than in case of bench chisels. Bearing ones are to slice the wood gently to finish your work. They help with creating smoother joints and they are very easy to move sideways. Usually they are longer and thinner and sharpened at a lower angle than other chisels, so you should never hit them with a mallet as they can be destroyed. They can only be operated with hands. Using all of the above mentioned chisels is quite simple. Well, you have two main operations. One is paring and this is horizontal slicing motion and the other one is chopping where you put the chisel vertically and you hit it against any hard material that you want to split open. There is one more thing every chisel should be sharp. Just as you shouldn't use a dull knife to prepare your meal, you shouldn't work with a dull chisel. Remember that dull chisels are dangerous for us and they will require extra effort on your side. What makes people happy? Red pandas. And what makes people save money? Sets. They say one piece of wood will not make you fired, but a set of six wood chisels might make you unstoppable. Statistically, every carpenter spends 65 or his or her time using a chisel. No matter if you are a pro or a newbie, this Paco set will give you maximum comfort at work. It consists of six pieces, all with rubberized split-proof two-component handles in a nice polyester pouch all in one purchase. They take the edge very well and will hold for a very long time. They are developed according to the scientific ergo process. Using them gives you maximum comfort with minimum effort thanks to the ergonomic design. They give you full control of carving movements due to sturdy hard blades and an anti-slip grip. Look at the handles. Well, they are made of polyamide, which easily absorbs repeated hammer blows. Additionally, these superior polished blades are varnished for increased rust resistance. The steel they are made from is hardened and tempered for long-lasting performance. Well, this set is ideal for demanding carpentry and construction jobs, and even you are equipped with tip protectors. But what to hit the chisel with? Your fist? Your forehead? Your best friend's iPhone? Well, I've got a better idea. Why don't you try the Hahama set, which offers five different round-shaped tips for your best chisel spank. The best thing about it is that it ranges from soft to very hard according to colors. And there is another feature that some of us might actually enjoy. The handle material is hickory. Nice. Everything that you can do with wood, you actually can do with metal. However, most of the work is done by a machine. Most doesn't mean 100% and a chisel could be very handy. Chisels for metal work can be classified into two categories, hot and cold. 
Hot chisels are designed to work with metal that was previously heated in the forge, whereas cold chisels like these ones from Proline are designed for cold or room temperature metals. As you can see, unlike the chisels for woodworking, the whole body of this one is made from steel. The material and hardness of the cold chisels can be found in the specifications. For example, this set of cold chisels is made of chrome vanadium steel. The added chromium and vanadium to the steel improve its hardness, wear resistance and increases its corrosion and oxidation resistance. Perhaps I can say it's best cast steel. The cold chisels can be used for making a rough cut on a sheet of metal. It can split rusty nuts that cannot be removed otherwise and perform a chip test to identify metals. Used properly, it has no equal for many jobs, for example, sculpturing the heads of the president on Mount Rushmore. Well, actually, they were using a dynamite and a honeycombic technique to manipulate the stone. Today, you might use a diamond saw to cut big pieces from one stone. However, it will leave so markings and it doesn't look natural. To avoid it, you can use stone carving chisels. Of course, it takes some time to master the craft, but there is no way to go around it. From TME software, we have metabot chisels, which are perfect for brick, concrete, stone or wall applications. Well, these are SDS Plus, SDS Max or spline shunt chisels, all precisely sharpened with the cutting edge to long withstand hardcore or heavy duty works. They are all made with tough breakage resistant steel that will keep them at your disposal forever. I would like to end with a quote. Man cannot remake himself without suffering, for he is both the marble and the sculptor. If you are just starting with woodworking or sculpturing, give yourself time, and eventually you'll get them. You should never ever touch them! Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Blinking in front of me. <laughs>